That's right, we did it. Got a barbecue here. Guy might want to use his barbecue. So, it's all covered up around it real nice. You can see from this angle here. So let's say he wants to use that barbecue. Throws down a couple of things and says, all right, I'm pulling this barbecue out. So we can drop some stuff down. He pulls this barbecue out and then puts this whole skirt back together. So if he's cooking in the dead of winter or whatever, you don't have to worry about it. It all goes back together real nice. Check that out. Everything fits nice and smooth. Barbecue's coming out of here. Throw some Velcro here. Kind of hook it back together, but at least you got your barbecue out there. Well, broths aren't done yet. Hold on, broths will get done. He's got his propane hose over here that he can hook up, quick disconnect. We put double zippers, you can run the hose out, hook it all up. Slide out starts here. We got binding under this where we went down low. Got the slide out. We got our good old two layers of padding that we always do on here. Then we got the step area. Comes up in behind a big old T here. Kind of keeps all the water from going on top. The door area is separate. We go underneath your cabinet doors so you can get into these puppies without having to do anything. Got to change your propane tank, do whatever you got to do. You don't have to mess with a skirt. We make the fifth wheel area with plenty of storage. We'll get back to this. Unzip it like a door, you can do whatever. You got your fifth wheel part. We put a hitch box on it. That way if you use a hitch stand or anything like that, you can hook it all up. It's gonna sit under here really nice. And we put our tag on the back side. Hey, you forgot the tag! Oh man, I forgot the tag. Oh no, I got a new tag. I put a new tag. Come on around. Check this tag out. We put our tag on the back side so your neighbors can see it, but you don't have to look at it. What do you think? It's huge! <laughs> it's like my ego. <laughs> all right, over here. Other than the beautiful tag. That's a beautiful tag. Okay, I was just kidding. Everybody stop doing that. Stop sending me emails. Watch. Here's our tag we put on the back side. Everybody gets to look at it all day long, but you don't have to. Guess what this is? I'm thinking the guy's going to have a propane thing. He says, you know what? My propane tank runs out of here. It can never shut it. We put a zipper here for him. Double-headed little zippers. Bring that propane out, hook it up to that big old bottle you gotta have in the middle of winter. Water access for your water piece under here. Got plenty of room for that. Bring your hose out through it. Whatever you gotta do. 12 inches extra on the bottom for uneven areas. There's a zipper here. I guess you guys know what this is for. If you live in an RV, yes sir, we know what you guys do. There's a sewer right there. Got to get rid of that stuff now and then. Bring the sewer pipe out. All adjustable. Zipper here, slide out is all separate. One big honking kitchen slide out. Probably got a dining room here. Then you got your back bumper. Back bumper's all here. Well, I hope them props are getting done. We put a pleat here to cover this bumper. Check this out. He leaves his hitch on all the time once he's taking it off. We went right around this puppy. He nailed it all down. It's going to look all really good. We're going to make it beautiful. We run around the ladders and all that stuff. Oh yeah, it's just at the right temperature. Guess what? Hey, brats are done. Time to eat. Well, Thanks for stopping by RVSkirting.com. We'll see you another day. There's plenty of room under the fifth wheel. There's a four-wheeler under there. Driveway now, we come in and park your RV 
back together. You got plenty of room under there for a freezer, dirt bikes. You're still, remember the still, you gotta keep that hill still and hidden. Don't want anybody taking your still. And then just zip it back up. Or if you just need a little bit of get on the room, pull the back like a little door. We'll get right back to you. What we do is we number everything for you. That way you can tell where everything goes. We number all your PVC pipe. Bags for storage and all that kind of stuff. So everything's all set. Go get him, little fizzy. Here goes Matt going over to the sippy hall. But skirting's all done, it's time to play. Right, Josie? Yes. Let's see. Matt's out there with the goats. He's going down in the sippy hole. There he goes. He's in the water. He's coming out of the water. Yes, we did have some rain recently. Okay, here's our big driveway we have here. Our shop over there where Hershey's hanging out and everything blew down today. And Hershey's grabbing all our boxes. Here goes Matt again. We're putting in a big driveway area. Over here, we're gonna have a yard, put in a play set, a picnic table, things like that for customers. And this is what we do when we're not working on your skirts. I like to go up and over those hills, but he loves the sippy hole. He's getting it all muddy. There he goes. He's making it. So, that is one utilitarian RV skirting. I think he's beeping at us. 